All right, hey guys, today I'm gonna to be answering some questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. Um, some of the questions are really thoughtful, so I wanted to be able to give thoughtful answers. It didn't seem right to just answer them directly on Instagram because I couldn't give a full answer there. So I'm gonna be answering those here. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should do that because you just missed out on a great Q&A. And if you wanna join in on the fun next time, you should follow me and my Instagram is in the bio as always. Anyway, let's get started. The first question I'm gonna talk about is would I wear a wig, why or why not? Um, I know in past videos I've mentioned like wigs have never been my thing, never been into it, but I've never really explained why. And the explanation is gonna be kind of complicated because it's a very like personal me thing. Like I don't know if other people have the same feelings towards it, but wigs actually make me really anxious. Like the thought of like going out in public, meeting people, making connections, and them not knowing this like big thing about me and like eventually having to have that conversation like, hey, like this isn't real, like that just meh, gives me so much anxiety. Like even just thinking about it, I'm like, huh, no, can't do it. But I'm not saying that like people who wear wigs aren't authentic or not themselves. Like for some people wearing a wig makes them feel more themselves. For me, it just does the complete opposite. I'm way more insecure. I feel just like not myself and yeah, I just, I, I can't do it. The second question I'm gonna talk about is what causes alopecia? Are you born with it? Does it develop over time? Um, basically, it, yes and no. Um, there is a genetic factor that goes into having alopecia areata or alopecia universalis. Um, by the way, alopecia areata is what it starts as like the spots when it's falling out and universalis is basically like when you don't have hair. Um, so yes, there is a genetic factor that contributes to having alopecia, but people get confused because it's not like you're born and then your hair never grows. So it seems like it's something that happens over time when you develop it, but you already had that genetic factor in you and a combination of like outside factors too could sometimes influence it. But if I didn't have that genetic component, then I wouldn't have lost my hair. And for most people, it there's no like specific time that it you, your hair falls out, it's pretty random. Like for me, it was elementary school and kindergarten. I know a lot of people, it happens later in life, but you aren't just, it's not just gonna like happen to you. You can't get it from someone. You can't just acquire it somehow. Like you're born with a genetic component that leads you to getting alopecia. I hope that explains it. Like I'm not a scientist, but I tried. Next question I get variations of often. Um, basically, it's like, how do I wash my head? What do I use to wash it? Do I use shampoo? Um, if I'm washing my face, like, where does it end? Do I just keep going? Um, and no, I don't use shampoo to answer one of those questions. I don't know if you've ever read like a shampoo bottle label, but usually it says like, step one, wet your hair. I can't do that. So don't use shampoo. Um, I really just use like normal like body wash like how you would wash the rest of your body because it's just like skin like anywhere else um but yeah i don't know if there's like a certain scalp wash thing that i just never known about but like i've never heard of people using that before i just have always <laughs> washed myself with the normal soap that i use for everything else and that's basically how i do it and then for washing my face i don't really do that because i'm like not a beauty guru i'm not really good about like doing that kind of thing, but like if I do a face mask like once every one year, like I don't even do that often, but like usually I just like end it like where my forehead would like end. Like I used to have hair, so like I know like where like it would be. <laughs> so I just do it like that. Like I don't like keep going up higher than like here. Yeah. Now this next question I touched upon a little bit in the video I did with my parents about like my full alopecia story. Um, and basically this question is, uh, what was it like growing up with alopecia? And you heard a little bit of my parents' perspective. I didn't give too much of my own perspective, but you heard my parents talk about how like, there was people who apparently were mean to me. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really remember that. It was elementary school, so very long time ago. Um, and it didn't really happen to me going up through like middle school, high school. I like to believe is that's cause Everyone in my school kind of knew that I was like a really high level gymnast and at one point I left school to be homeschooled for gymnastics So people more labeled me as like Allison the gymnast more than Allison the girl without hair um, I honestly don't know if that played into it, but I was never Bullied really I was stared at a lot um, But that's all I really remember in terms of like growing up with it like my childhood was very normal as far as I remember I was a happy kid 
Um, there really was not that many differences from growing up with hair versus without it. The last two questions are kind of intertwined with each other, but the first one is, do I wish I had hair or like, do I wish I never had alopecia? And to answer that, I genuinely do not think I would be half the person I am if I had hair. Like, I don't think, I obviously wouldn't be here right now. I think my major in school would be completely different. I really don't think I would be half the person. I would not be so into helping other people, trying to inspire other people. And like, literally the best feeling in the world has been people DMing me, telling me that like, I've helped them or they've sent my videos to someone to help someone else better understand what alopecia is or they've felt less alone because like someone else is going through it with them or just those types of things like it there's no better feeling in the world than knowing that you're helping other people and inspiring other people and if i didn't have alopecia like i would not have the platform to have the voice that i have now so no i i don't want to go back i don't want to i don't want to know the person i would be if i had hair like i'm kind of scared like would i be like a cocky like egotistical like person like I don't want to know like I'm too pleased with like who I am to want to think of even think about having hair like is it really that important anyway it's just some like strands that are on your head like I don't need that the last question I'm going to talk about today is if I could go back and have hair for a day would I do it I don't know like does that mean like I would go back to like the elementary school days and like relive the days that I had hair then or does it mean like I would live a day like in my life right now having hair like I guess it would be cool to like see what I look like like at this age with hair because like I don't know but like as I said I'm like too content with like who I am and, like what I'm doing with my life to like even think about like having hair but it does like raise the question also of if my hair grew back, which is a very real possibility, like my body can just randomly decide tomorrow, like, hey, I'm gonna stop attacking your hair follicles and your hair is gonna grow back. And like, what would I do then? Like, I know I would still wanna do the same thing, like keep um, spreading awareness about alopecia and talking about it. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I would shave it off if it grew back because it would just grow back again. Like there's no point, but it would be weird. Like I would have to, learn how to like shave and like do all these things like in the middle of my life like I'm like a 30 year old woman like just learning how to shave like <laughs> weird I think I'm just gonna stay how I am that's cool right yeah all right guys that's it for today's questions make sure you're following me on Instagram so if I do this again you can also ask me a question um link in the bio as usual but I hope you like this video I hope I gave good answers to your questions if you still have more questions about it always feel free to DM me or contact me in any way if you want. But remember, be true, be you, and I'll see you next time.